Ever wondered what the secret to training your cat might be? Is it even possible? Well, let's dispel some myths first. Many believe that cats are solitary, independent creatures who can't be trained. The truth, however, is a little more complex. Cats are indeed independent, but they're also social animals who respond to their environment and yes, can be trained. Understanding feline behavior is key to successful training. So buckle up, cat lovers, stay with us as we reveal the ultimate guide to training your cat. Before we dive into the training tips, let's understand the importance of proper nutrition. A well-balanced diet is essential for your cat's health and behavior. Foods high in protein, healthy fats, and certain vitamins and minerals contribute to their overall well-being. This includes maintaining a healthy weight, supporting a strong immune system, and even fostering a calm and receptive demeanor, essential for successful training. And remember, you can find the best cat food recommendations by following the link in the video description. Now, let's delve into understanding your cat's behavior. Cats, like us, have their own unique ways of communicating. They express themselves through a variety of behaviors, and decoding these can be the key to effective training. Let's explore some common cat behaviors and what they might mean. Firstly, have you noticed your cat's tail puffing up like a Halloween decoration? This is often a sign that your cat is frightened or agitated. If you see this, it's best to give your feline friend some space to calm down. Next, let's talk about kneading, that adorable motion cats make, like their massaging dough. This behavior dates back to their kitten days when they needed their mother to stimulate milk flow. When your cat needs you, it's a sign of comfort and contentment. Ever wondered why your cat rubs against your legs or furniture? It's not just to get your attention or because it feels good. Cats have scent glands on their cheeks, paws, and other parts of their body. When they rub against something, they're marking it as their territory. So next time your cat rubs against you, feel flattered. You've been marked as part of their territory. The slow blink, often called the kitty kiss, is a cat's way of showing trust and affection. If your cat looks at you and slowly closes its eyes, it's a very positive sign. You can even return the gesture to strengthen your bond. Understanding these behaviors is crucial to effective training. It allows you to read your cat's mood and react appropriately. It also helps you build a stronger bond with your cat, making them more likely to respond positively to training. But remember, these are just general behaviors. Every cat is unique and their behavior can vary. Some might be more vocal, others more physical. Each cat has its own way of expressing itself. So the next time you're puzzled by your cat's antics, take a step back and observe. Try to understand what they're trying to communicate. Remember, every cat is unique, so take the time to understand your furry friend. Now that we understand our feline friends better, let's look at some practical training tips. Training cats is not as daunting as it might seem. With a little patience, consistency, and positive reinforcement, you can train your cat to perform a variety of tasks and behaviors. Let's dive into these important principles. First up, positive reinforcement. This is the cornerstone of any successful cat training. Cats respond best to rewards, not punishment. A treat, a loving pat, or some playtime with their favorite toy can go a long way. Whenever your cat does something right, reward them immediately. This helps them associate the action with the reward, and they'll be more likely to repeat it in the future. However, remember to keep treats as treats and not a staple diet. Over-rewarding can lead to obesity. So, moderation is key. Use small, low-calorie treats or even better, use part of their regular meal as a reward. Next, let's talk about consistency. Cats, like us, are creatures of habit. They thrive on routine. If you want your cat to learn a new behavior, you need to be consistent in your training. This means practicing the same commands, in the same way, every time. If you're inconsistent, your cat will become confused and less likely to learn. For example, if you're training your cat to use a scratching post instead of your furniture, consistently guide them to the post when they start to scratch elsewhere. Over time, they'll learn that the post is the only acceptable place to scratch. Lastly, patience. Training a cat isn't something that happens overnight. It requires time and patience. Don't get frustrated if your cat doesn't pick up a new behavior immediately. Keep in mind that cats learn at their own pace and that's okay. It's more important that they feel safe and comfortable during training sessions. One other thing to consider is the timing of your training sessions. Cats are most active during dawn and dusk. These are the best times to engage in training sessions as your cat will be most alert and receptive. An additional tip is to keep training sessions short. 
Cats have a relatively short attention span and may lose interest if a session goes on for too long. Aim for sessions of about 5 minutes and always end on a positive note to keep your cat motivated for next time. Training your cat should be a fun and rewarding experience for both of you. Remember, the goal isn't to turn your cat into a circus performer, but to foster a stronger bond between you and your feline friend and to help them live a happy and fulfilling life. It's also important to note that every cat is unique. What works for one might not work for another. Be flexible in your approach and willing to adapt to your cat's individual personality and needs. And there you have it, a range of easy-to-follow tips for training your cat. With a little patience, consistency, and positive reinforcement, you'll be on your way to a well-trained feline in no time. Before we move on to some common mistakes in cat training, I'd like to remind you to like this video and subscribe to our channel. By doing so, you'll be helping us create more content like this, and you'll never miss an update. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more cat training tips. As we near the end of our guide, let's talk about some common mistakes in cat training. These pitfalls, while easy to fall into, are just as easy to avoid if you know what to look out for. One prevalent mistake is inconsistent training. Cats are creatures of habit, so sporadic training can confuse them. If you're training your cat to stay off the kitchen counter, for instance, you need to be consistent. Don't let them jump up there one day and scold them the next. Consistency is key to successful training. Another common mistake is using punishment as a training tool. Unlike dogs, cats don't respond well to punishment. They are more likely to associate the punishment with you rather than their actions, leading to fear or aggression. Instead, use positive reinforcement, reward good behavior with treats or praise, and ignore unwanted behavior. On the topic of rewards, another pitfall is over-reliance on treats. While treats are a fantastic training tool, they shouldn't be the only one. Overuse can lead to obesity and create a cat that only behaves when there's food involved. Balance treats with other forms of positive reinforcement, such as petting or playtime. Next, there's the mistake of expecting too much too soon. Training takes time and patience. Don't expect your cat to learn a new behavior overnight. Set realistic expectations and celebrate small wins along the way. Lastly, many cat owners fail to consider their cat's feelings and motivations. Cats have their own personalities and preferences. They won't do something simply because you want them to. Understand what motivates your cat and use that to guide your training. Avoiding these mistakes can make your cat training journey smoother and more enjoyable. Remember, training should be a bonding experience, not a chore. So keep it positive, be patient, and most importantly, have fun with it. We've covered a lot today, so let's quickly summarize. We kicked things off by emphasizing the importance of proper nutrition, which lays the groundwork for a healthy, happy, and trainable cat. Remember to check the link in the video description for a guide to the best cat food. Next, we delved into understanding your cat's behavior. Recognizing signals and respecting boundaries is paramount in establishing a training regimen that works for both you and your cat. We then offered practical training tips, such as using positive reinforcement and keeping sessions short and sweet. These methods are proven to be effective and enjoyable for your feline companions. Finally, we discussed common mistakes in cat training. Avoiding these pitfalls, like punishing bad behavior or expecting immediate results, will make the training process smoother and more successful. Remember, patience is key when training your cat. Keep these tips in mind, and you'll be well on your way to a well-trained furry friend.